So hi everybody, this is the Stay Home Grandma, and I'm doing um lemons. I'm gonna show you how to freeze the lemons, but I'm gonna show you what I got at Farmers Market and at the dollar store real quick. I went to Farmers Market and they had it open on Thursday now until further notice from 10 to 2 for seniors. So while I was there, they had um, a basket and they said free, pick whatever you want. So they had these pretzels. They got free for free. And I like pretzels, so that's good. And they're also they're also sugar free and fat free. And they're Martin's handmade special. And so they were served for salt, so that was good. And they were free. And then I got these. And this was pretty awesome. My husband loves these. These little candies right here. He loves these. And these are um, spice drops. So they were free. Then I got. I got one more thing. Oh, yeah. These right here were also free. And these are whole wheat blueberry bars. And these were free. So. They had like a free box for the seniors. I took three and left them for others. Then, at the farmer's market, I got grapes. So that's good. <clears throat> These are the black, sort of the blue, blue black grapes. That's what I call them anyway. And I think those are seedless. How's everybody doing, by the way? I'm so sorry. My hair's a mess. I just cut my hair three weeks ago, I think. And it's growing like crazy. I got two of these strawberries. My husband wanted these. Then I got some asparagus. You can see them. Very nice asparagus. It was so nice to go in there and not, because that's why I want to see it's crowded, although we did go a couple of weeks ago, I think. These are beautiful asparagus, so I think we'll have those together tomorrow. I'll see. Then I got some onions, some scallions. I got two of these. I got one from her, for me and one for my daughter. Then I got um I got these these garlic. This garlic is already peeled, but I'm going to free I'm gonna dry it in my dryer when I get it tomorrow. So I'll do that on camera. Then I got two cucumbers. And the, everything is really fresh, and I like going to the farmer's market. I especially like it since there was no, only the seniors were there. And they had it all, like, lined up so that you could be, like, six inches or six, six whatever apart. Got some tomatoes. Got some Brussels sprouts. These Brussels sprouts, too. Are huge. Really nice breakfast stuff. And then last oh, last but not least, I got lemons. So these are the ones I'm gonna take those to the sink and wash them. These are the ones I'm gonna cut. Water's getting ready to boil now. It's boiling now, it's starting to boil. Then I went to the dollar store and I got Some spoons. Got two things of knives and forks because I didn't have any forks all by themselves. So I got two things of those. Got some toothpaste. I got any toothpaste. And then I got two things of filters for my coffee maker. 
I have them, but, you know, when you go out and you can only go out certain days now, you got to, you know, do what you can. This is going upstairs. That. I got bacon soda. Got three boxes of that. This is the bacon soda. That's a dollar store brand, I guess. I got some tidy bowl. I got some pine saw. I'm going to make wipes because I'll show you. I'm going to do a, a, a video on that on how to make your own wipes. So I got all that. And, and this is the one, by the way, this lifestyle that I got, even though it's a small one, it makes five gallons. So I got that. And after that, I got, I forgot what I got too. Oh, I got one rose. Get ready to do another review. Got some cups. I have some, but I just started getting cups for, you know, the, the little girls when they go to the bathroom and they get water when they want, they can drink it there. I got this. And this is the chicken creation ginger soy. That ought to be really good, don't you think? I'll see. got some sweet relish. Then I got deodorant for one of my granddaughters. And deodorant for me. Putting these in the bag to take upstairs. Some things go upstairs, some things go downstairs. So how's everything? I hope everybody's doing fine. And all this chaos and confusion, we will be fine. I got some ramen noodle for one of my granddaughters. And I got one of these um, sparkling ciders for one of my granddaughters. And that's really it. So anyway, I'm going to turn this water up. I'm going to show you real quickly how to freeze the lemon. I did this video before and I think, and actually I'm going to do a few lemons because I'm going to make some iced tea, some tea too as well, for iced tea. So, turn it up because I have had it on briskly, you know, but um, now I turned it up so we can really heat while I'm cutting the lemons. So, I'm going to get a few of these lemons. Now, you can freeze pretty much anything. Somebody asked me about freezing cream and milk, and I will do that video.
down. Go to the table. I'm going to cut them up for you. I'm going to cut a few up to put in the in the tea, but I'm also going to cut put these on top of the tea. Now, what I do is I cut this part of the lemon off and I cut the lemons up. Now I'm going to slice a few for the tea, but I'm going to cut the lemons actually in half. So this is the lemon I cut in half. When I get finished with pub, I'm going to just blanch these and then I'm going to put them in the freezer bag. And I'll pull this down. Excuse me. Just gonna make a noise. You can possibly see what I'm doing. Yeah. Kind of. Now, what this will also do is start the lemon water and put these back in the strainer. For your ice too. So you're getting two in one. But these will be blanched. The other ones will stay in it while the tea turns into the making for iced tea. So I'm cutting these two, two ends off. Now I'm actually going to show you what I do with the lemons after they, uh, the peelings after. So every day, if I don't come on, it's only because I'm either really tired or whatever. But for the most part, every day I'm going to come on with some kind of something that you can do around the house. Since we're all locked in the house, I'm not locked in. I'm going to take two of the lemons. I'm going to take one of the lemons. I think I got all. Now this one right here, I'm going to slice it a little bit thinner. Now, this is going into the boiling water, which is behind. Give me one minute while I go in there. That one in. So that one in. So now, brush this off. 
talk to you for a few minutes, and then we're going to take those out of there. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm going to bowl. Wait, I put a few things out. Give them five minutes. Now, the trick of this is to take these out of the water. They're blanched. So they're blanched now. So now now you can blanch oranges, you can you freeze them, you can freeze lemons, you can freeze limes, you can freeze oh different desserts. I mean different fruits. Just look it up on the um, freezer chart and see what you have to do with them, because I don't do all the fruit. No. This is not hot to the touch, but warm enough, but like I said, still there. Bump that. Make sure the air is out. Hold it down. Dip it halfway. Push the more air out. You can fold it, and it's done. And that's how you freeze lemon. So if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment comment section. I love you. Take care. Be safe. God bless. Bye bye. See you in the next video.